Greetings traders, Jason here with SwingHigh.com. It is Wednesday, October 21st, 2009. This is your post-market analysis and uh, looking at the SPY today, we have a huge sell-off in the last hour of trading here. Uh, it seemingly sparked by nothing uh, except for some maybe earnings expectations from Walmart and uh, Boeing. Uh, we just completely fell out of bed in the last hour of trading. We were holding up nicely here under our uh, 110 area of resistance and testing that away. Um, we did get a couple good tests of that resistance today, so that's that's supporting the bull case. Um, but in this last hour here, we just drastically sold off with a couple weird spikes in after hours trading. Um, gonna have to look into those a tiny bit, but I don't think they're very significant. Um, let's look at the VIX. Wow, <laughs> up 6.3 percent. The VIX was down under under 22.2 at at one point, um, as low as 22 uh, and one tenth. Uh, it's insane. <laughs> the VIX was down 3 percent or so, corroborating the move upward nicely, and then all of a sudden we just shot up in the last hour of trading. That is a ridiculous run up in the VIX. Uh, definitely corroborating that drop, that huge sell-off we saw in the markets at, at the end of the day. Tick. Yep, uh, the tick was bullish in the morning and then just shot down the last hour. Uh, it started drifting neutral to bearish throughout the day. So that also corroborates the trend. Yep, <laughs> started bullish under 0.8, went to neutral for the rest of the day, and then at the very end, wow. Actually, during the sell-off, the trend was... Uh, still neutral and only at the very last uh, five minute bar here do we have a pop in the trend into a bearish reading uh, at 1.2 so that doesn't really corroborate as well um, it's showing me that volume wasn't too strong to the downside so uh, I still want to say that the markets are indecisive here and not decisively heading lower um, and what I mean by that is that we are still holding up here in this high base Yes, we are at the bottom of the high base, but we are still above the previous swing highs we have in here and above the gap that we had last Wednesday. So, uh, we, <laughs> being that we are still in this high base, I am still bullish the market. I know I've been saying it for a while, um, but we just need to see how it resolves. If it breaks down, if it gets under, uh, if it fills this gap, then I'm not going to be bullish the market for the time being until I see a, a decisive uh, formation again and at that point I think we will have a decisive down leg forming so uh, I might even go bearish at that point. Did not take any long trades today uh, it's very hard to do so at resistance although I have been doing it a little too much to be honest uh, in the past couple of weeks taking long positions. Um, I want to talk about those positions as you see, for example, ZHNE, one that I took very recently, I think it was yesterday, uh, these stocks are tiny. Uh, many of them are under a dollar, some of them are, or most of them, all of them are under five dollars. Uh, and I've only bought a handful, maybe uh, under ten, uh, in the past couple of weeks. I am trying a new strategy of uh, buying low price stocks and trading them on the technicals. Um, because the fundamentals of these stocks are horrible, that's why they are so low. But um, it's, a, it's a strategy that I've seen proven. I've been trying it lately, and uh, so far it's not working too well. But let me add this little caveat here. My position sizes are so tiny. Um, they're less than 0.2% of my equity. So honestly, I could lose the entire position, which I don't think I will on all of these, and uh, still be okay. My plan was to add to the position as it went past proven areas of resistance. Um, as it continued to show strength, I would continue to add to the position to uh, actually get some real profits out of it in case it did turn into a winning uh, stock trade. So uh, that's just a little note on these tiny companies that I have been going long in in the past couple of weeks. In general, I am neutral right now. I am actually long. <laughs> I take that back because uh, we are in this high base on the SPY. And uh, We'll see if we can hold this bottom part of the high base tomorrow. And uh, that's it for your post-market analysis today. Thank you for being a part of SwingHigh.com. And talk to you tomorrow.